All right, now I'm gonna do a taste comparison between the dry martini and the dirty martini. A little bit of an, uh, information about how I prepared the drinks. So they're made in a similar way, just with slightly different ingredients. Both of them have two and a half shots of gin, which I used Hendrix gin. You definitely wanna use a good gin for this. Do not buy something cheap. Um, it just won't make for a proper martini. So I used two and a half shots of that. One half shot of uh, dry, <laughs> dry vermouth. Um, it, and that's the same for both drinks. Now, the uh, dry martini has orange bitters. I just used a dash of that, and then I garnished it with lemon. Um, the only difference for the, the dirty martini, it, the names are very similar. That's why I keep slurring my words a little bit. Um, I added a shot of olive brine, so just out of the jar, a one shot of it. Um, the recipe I found called for a half shot, but I like it a little more olivey. So I like mine a little dirtier. Um, and then you garnish it with some olives. And there's no orange bitters in this one, okay? So we're definitely gonna get some different flavors. So, and I also, you don't wanna shake these. I stirred it in a mixing glass and then strained it into an ice cold glass. You want this to be extremely cold. So these were both prepared in that same manner. So I'm gonna start off with trying the dry martini. You give it a sniff. You can definitely smell the gin and a little bit of the citrusy orange. Definitely a sippable drink. I'm not a huge uh, vermouth fan. Um, this isn't too bad. I like this better than the sweet vermouth. So um, it's, to me, um, fine. I'm not a big uh, dry martini fan. So now I'm gonna try the dirty one. Now this one, I really like. Because I like the salty olive brine flavor, it really complements the other ingredients well and it tones down that dry vermouth a little bit. Makes for, a, in my opinion, a super smooth drink. You don't have to make yours as dirty as I did. You could have backed off the olive brine. Like I said, I used one shot in it. That's why there was a little more in this glass than the other. And then you've got your olives in here. I mean, this would go great with like a charcuterie board if you were at a, a nicer um, cocktail bar. They have things like that. Be really good with it. It's a nice to go with some salty foods. I'm gonna give this one another drink because I liked it so much. So I guess I would say, to wrap up, I would say if you like the salty stuff, if you like olives, go for a dirty martini. If you want something simpler, you do not like olives, do not do that. I would definitely encourage you to try a dry martini. So I hope that helped you out with martinis and I will see you next week.